Check one, two. Gaggles take 21. Rainbow Valley Studios. like being in Rainbow Valley. It's been a blast, hasn't it? It's been great. Yeah, we've all got along. <laughs> <laughs> Three weeks in, the album's almost there, isn't it? Uh, not too far off. Actually, yeah. Brittany, what was your favourite one you were saying this morning? Oh, uh, the lookout. Get, get, get yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. I really, um, yeah. I think the vibe of it's just like, it's just cool. Like, it's, yeah. it's really nice. Like, it's a cool groove. Yeah, it's very nice. Yeah. I'm glad we pushed it. Because we weren't going to record it. Yeah, we yeah. almost didn't do it. No, nah, yeah. but you guys put in some time, eh? Yeah. Yeah. What's your favourite album? Mine? Yeah. I've got a real, like, soft spot for dancing shoes. Really? She's got this, like, that real kind of, like, Vaseline lens. <laughs> sort of like, you know, <laughs> 80s sort of dance thing going, you know what I mean? It's yeah. like, we got a lot of swagger about it, you know? What about yours, Maddie? I think I like, where do I belong? Really? Yeah, yeah I really, I just think it's a cool song. Mm. Yeah. Um, I also like, um, The Lookout. Do you have a vision for this one, for I Know? Uh, yeah, kind of. Like, loose vision. Yeah that you guys kind of have to just interpret as mu as best as you can and and then if you don't like it, just tell me to fuck off. <laughs> What's sort of the expectation on like kind of making a record to how you actually are now making records yourselves? Mm -hmm. I suppose I thought this is probably how like you'd want to do an album, like this is the dream way to do it, right? It's just like mm -hmm. come out to somewhere in the middle of nowhere and with your mates and do it. It's been nice having breaks. Yeah. yeah, between doing stuff, whereas last time it was just like, we've got to get this done. 12 tracks in 14 days. I guess, like, in that regard, too, like, you know, for the kids at home listening, wanting to lift the hood on a great Gable record and how they make it, the beginning of the day is like, you know, everyone jams it live and we do it to a click track. And then the song is sort of sketched out in a live sense. And then we break into, into parts. Playing them live before at the start of the day, you really get a good sense of what the song's gonna, mm. how it's gonna shape up. I like to try and get my part down for the boys. Drums first, get the foundation and stuff, I guess. But it's been good work with you, Al, because you often give me like an image, I guess, of like what you, I don't know, like a feeling for a song. Yeah, over like a picture. A image, yeah, a picture. And yeah. then I can try and channel that, which is really handy. Um, you like analyzing the song, hey, what, do, what goes through your mind when you're like analyzing a... I know like sometimes you use references mm -hmm. to like find a part maybe to slot in. 100%. It would mainly be sections and I'll be thinking about like different grooves, different kick patterns, different snare patterns, how they'll make the song feel. Mm. Um, and then the liberty of like time, you can try different stuff as well. Sometimes I feel like I wing half of it, but I don't know. It yeah. Yeah, but I guess that kind of naive approach to like some parts in music is always really good. Mm. Like it doesn't ever necessarily let you down. Sometimes those first takes are like the best takes, you know. Oh, for sure. Yeah. And I guess as well, some of these songs are, what, 16 months old? Yeah, it could be like a year and a half. Like yeah. That. Yeah, yeah. Um, so sometimes like, it's good for us to go back and have that reference point and find that feeling yeah. of what we were all feeling at the time when we recorded 
I got to go see you guys play live, and I was kind of had a giggle because I was something said something like, "Hey, here's a new track. None of these know it." Bang! But then everyone starts dancing, you know. And I thought that's got it's a pretty good, good gauge of a of a new track if no one really knows it, but they all just kind of start getting up dancing to it. That's how you kind of pick like the best ones, isn't it? So yeah. uh, if you feel like it's gonna go down pretty well live. Yeah. It feels pretty important for a band, I suppose, doesn't it? You know, I know you guys have been thinking about what you're going to name it. What are you guys thinking the theme is? The album's definitely shaping up to have, like, a real positive, uh, happy feel. A lot of, yeah, a lot of talk about love and all that sort of nonsense. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it feels more self-conscious, I think, in a good way, than maybe the last one. Like, mm. especially lyrically and stuff, and as, as songs. Yeah, well, compared to Tracing Faces, that album, that came about pretty quickly, whereas these songs just spent ages. We've had these songs for it's been so a long time. Long now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Really like this record could be played as a show. I think you know it's like a twelve-song show. Mm. It's cool. But, you know, it, it would work like that as well, which is a cool mm. kind of you know thought about a record. But I know you guys sort of stay true to that <clears throat> you know old school way of doing things by hitting the road. I suppose that's how we started it. Yeah. Like we yeah, started here sure. before we even recorded music. We were just slogging it out and uh, probably in someone's lounge room. Did you used to book the gigs, Brainy? I did, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Management, yeah, right? Yeah. Manager. Did you have a manager's name? Did you have a fake manager's name for an email? Or did you? Mark, Mark Green. Mark Green. <laughs> <laughs> I, did. I didn't think you were going to have one. Mark Green. Yeah, yeah. And then remember That's we good. rocked up to that gig and they were calling your bar. Yeah, oh, nice. Mark oh, wow. I just remember the day I was like, Mark Green. Great, yeah. After, you know, like not playing shows for ages when COVID hit and we were just like kind of yeah. chilling and riding. Forgot what we, what we were yeah, doing, we were, right? Yeah. And, just and then, like... yeah, and eventually we, we were able to play shows in Perth and it was like, oh shit, this is, this is great. Yeah, you don't take it for, you don't take it for granted. Carl, if you owned Rainbow Valley, <laughs> what would you change about it? Um... Dude, we should get like a half pipe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Really for, sure. About it. for sure. I'd change that too. And we'd all get, <laughs> we'd all get Pee Wee 50s so we can all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, Ryan 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 has a Pee Wee 50. Are you going to miss it here? For sure. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. The day walking around in this house, I'm feeling sick and tired of waiting around. I wanna lay back with my head in the clouds. I wanna hear you say that I made you proud. Oh no, is it too much to ask for? Is it too much to say? Is it too much to ask for?
with my head in the clouds I wanna hear you say I made you proud 